Hello, hello tribe. Welcome back to the channel. I know you don't see my face very often, but today is a special occasion. Now stick with me. I have something interesting to talk about. I will be talking about a collab with the Cosmic Program, two people who have been working on this project for three years. They are both PhD scientists and they're all about merging the science and spirituality together. One of the things that they told me about that I myself never heard of before were the Sabian symbols. You can go on their website and you can check out a collection of Sabian symbols on famous people. There are plenty of celebrities for you to look at. If you look at Freddie Mercury, one of the images shows a man with his hand up, which very well reminds of Freddie Mercury on a stage. If you go on their website, you will notice that right now they have promotions. And also on top of that, if you use my code Brigitta, Either it's with number nine, like my own channel, or with a G, you're going to get extra 25% off. They also do the astrology reports. In this astrology report, you get a huge amount of information, and I really think I haven't seen a better deal. If you want to see the examples of the readings before you book, you can go to their website, find King Charles or Stephen King. Today, I have decided to let you choose from one of my own Sabian symbols, see which one resonates with you the most, and I'm going to catch you in timestamps. Hello, hello tribe. So welcome to your reading. Whoever has chosen the first Sabian symbol, by the way, if you don't know what Sabian symbols are, go to the introduction and maybe you're going to want to find out yours. Let's go. Let's see what's 2024 bringing to you. And I want to start with the spiritual aspects to see where you're going to be. We're going to be talking about spiritual aspects. We'll talk about relationships and your finances in 2024. So what are we learning here spiritually? One second, a lot of cards fell out of the deck. You have a lot of fire here let's pull from one more deck and i'm going to be using the healing and clarity cards what are we experiencing spiritually you have belief we'll also pull from the gold leaf tarot and we'll read them all together Group number one, what are you experiencing spiritually? Okay, so let's start with the belief card. Trigger statement, it is too late. True statement, I am free to believe. You are clearing away beliefs, energy and memories that no longer serve you. So the necessary decisions will be made. Now, for a lot of you, you may experience um, spiritual transformation in 2024 and it feels like it's one of those important moments in our lives when we are noticing quite a lot of shifts for example uh, one month you may feel like you are spiritually on on this kind of like a bit of a roller coaster the next couple of months you are chilling and it's it's going to be this road this path and i want to say it ascension this feels like for a lot of you, a lot of strange things may happen spiritually. You may notice quite a lot of signs, particularly connected to your soul family. Okay, would it be platonic or romantic? Doesn't matter. You will be getting quite a lot of feedback from your environment, spiritually wise. And uh, this will be the people who love you dearly. You will be receiving quite a lot of compliments or gifts. Now take this as the feedback from God or universe, whatever you believe in. <clears throat> mm -hmm. this is also a good year um, of making new connections but also connecting on a deeper level with people who you love 
this is the year what I'm seeing people talk about deep stuff people talk about relationships what kind of relationship do I want how do I want to grow with my partner what is important for me when it comes to spirituality is it important for me that this is someone who's also as spiritual as me or am I able to create a balanced relationship with someone who has different upbringing or different belief system and both of these um, are fine it's just up to a viewer what your what your morals and values are for some of us it balances us out if someone has a different belief system we can discuss it we can talk about it we can find mutual ground and we can also find differences for others of you it's going to be really important for someone to look at life from a similar perspective from a spiritual point of view there is a lot of magic in the air I'm feeling a presence of your ancestry in 2024 and they will be sending you signs but those those signs will be material mm, what I mean by that you may find a coin on the road somewhere and it kind of happens regularly <clears throat> if this is a repetitive sign pay attention because you're gonna be kind of confirming to you what you thought of is a route to take or for example if you have an idea about a business or about a hobby that may turn to business one day the uh, feedback from the, your ancestors will be with some kind of stuff that's going to be laying around you in a weird spot for example if um, you're really sure that you put your keys on a counter you come back and keys are completely somewhere else tap in close your eyes what does it mean to you what are they trying to communicate with you heavy presence of your ancestry in 2024 they also will be asking you to review some of the ancestral patterns what is something that you would want to change or what is something that you would want to embrace so close connection to your ancestry in 2024 messages are coming left and right some of you will have to take break from those because it may overwhelm you so make sure that you are grounded during that time otherwise all you might want to do is to look for the signs and you may get a little bit lost okay let's continue <clears throat> what is happening in your relationships what are you inviting in 2024 relationship wise what are you inviting two of cups is here again i'm not even surprised because this was a heavy theme okay what are you letting go of what are you letting go of we have the page of pentacles the emperor and the magician what are we walking towards to what we should focus on in 2024 relationship wise the wheel of fortune the temperance and the four of pentacles let's look at the bottom of the deck we have the eight of pentacles this is the year where a lot of people are working on their differences relationship wise again would it be platonic business or romantic i'm seeing what some of you are letting go here is a um, partnership a business partnership potentially um, with a particular person who who is your leader or who is your boss if you yourself are a boss of a team or in a company you will want to restructure the way you work or you may even want to switch for a new job in 2024 it's almost as if you're looking at your manifestations in a slightly different perspective here what has worked for me before i feel like in 24 it's not working anymore i need to make changes it's not to say that something is going downhill you yourself you will just want to upgrade you will want to have it better or for example if you had a boss who is a bit like mm, i'm not sure about them you will want to switch for the team where the boss is uplifting it's a true leader instead of instead of just being a boss 
Now, uh, romantic relationship wise, I feel like you're going to meet a person if you haven't met them just yet, who is going to have a very different uh, way of thinking than you do. For example, if you are creative, they will be very logical and vice versa. And why you have to meet this person is because someone has <clears throat> a belief system or a couple of belief systems that it's only this way, not that way, kind of black and white thinking. This person will be kind of given to you, shown to you in order to open your mind to other strategies, to other ways of thinking um, overall about life. And with that, if you're not going to resist it too much, if you're not going to be like stubborn, for example, if they will give you valid criticism instead of blocking themselves off or shutting them down, because I know better, this is my way. Uh, if you listen and if you are open to suggestions and trying new things out, you will see how you're going to get quite a lot of feedback from the universe saying, okay, you were open-minded enough, you wanted to listen. Of course, at the end of the day, decision will be yours, but you are open enough to experience new types of connections. So what happens with the Wheel of Fortune and Temperance and Four, Four of Pentacles, not only that you are strengthening the existing connections because you're opening yourself up for new ways of thinking, new strategies even, um, if they're going to advise you or you're going to talk about work, but also you're going to feel much more balanced because you're not going to have this rigid energy about you. For example, if someone has blocked themselves off from love and they're like, mm, I, had, I have been hurt and I have my walls up now with nine of wands, instead of carrying that energy from 23 to 24, what you're going to decide to do is to be open again. Maybe for you, for some of you, it's going to take a couple of months in order to do that. But if you don't have these um, rigid walls up, it's going to be much easier to flow from through, 20, uh, through 2024, okay? Now, the Wheel of Fortune is telling us that your relationship area is blessed. A lot of unexpected events will take place. Now, would it be finding a really um, close friendship? And specifically, I'm getting it could be for work or it could be for some sort of spiritual practice. What I mean by spiritual practice, I'm seeing people gathering together for um, the same goal. I don't know. It could be um, some sort of group therapy. It could be some sort of group hypnosis session, or it could be um, maybe you going to a, a gym class where everyone's goal is the same. If you are thinking that, hey, if I'm gonna be changing in 2024 spiritually, and I will change some of my perspectives. I may not be able to keep the people in my life who, who I've known of before because I'll change and some of them will drop off. Actually, your cards are saying no. Uh, those relationships will become just much more interesting. Let's see what else. Relationship-wise. <clears throat> 2024. What will be important? What is a highlight or a specific event that we need to know of? 2024 some of some people are getting married here um if this is not you then this is someone who's very close to you because they've shown up in your cards here mm, i'm also seeing a, an opportunity for engagement or in some way strengthening an existing bond you may be uh, um participating in a couple of marriages in 2024 here Again, if this is not you, this is these are your friends or people that you know of. Mm -hmm. And I keep getting that specifically someone is meeting through work here. Someone is meeting through work, they have a lot of fun, they crack a lot of jokes, and sooner or later these people come together for a different purpose than just to be colleagues. They come for a purpose to be strong partners, partners for each other. Mm -hmm. Again, remember how I talked about gifts. This is a year where you are receiving as well as giving quite a lot of gifts. You may just have this urge to gift to one another. It's just going to come from the depths of your soul and you go, okay, maybe if last Christmas I didn't try to buy something unique, 
And I'm not talking about the sum of money, how much it costs. I'm talking about the creative ways of gifting to one another. Uh, the next year, I feel like on someone's birthday, anniversary, or Christmas, I want to make it unique. And I feel like you're getting the same feedback back to you. It's being mirrored back to you. Okay, anything to watch out for? Anything to watch out for? Pile number one. We're gonna talk about work and finances in a moment. Anything to watch out for? Mm -hmm. Let me clarify this. Neglecting your health. Okay? What to watch out for is neglecting your health and burning out. Or overdoing some sort of habit partying too much drinking too much smoking too much uh, overeating all of that now if this is not your tendencies and this this might be tendencies of someone who's close to you particularly masculine energy who will need to be directed um, towards a healthier lifestyle or someone who is very stubborn and they're just like i fuck it you know i'm, I'm still gonna smoke I don't care. And you may, may be one of those people who nudge them towards a right path or who give them a kick in the ass to tell them, hey, you are abusing your body. Hey, how about having a, a healthy lunch? Try this out and see how it goes for you long term. You don't have to do it for months to come. Do it for the week and let me know how it is. Okay? So that we can avoid any difficulties with our bodies or any illness that we really don't need because this feels like this is avoidable with the change of a lifestyle okay financially let's look at what we have for you and i feel like i want to use the texture tarot for this portion of the reading what can we expect financially in 2024 we have the seven of cups we have the lovers we have realization we have the king of pentacles death let me push it up a bit so you can see the cards queen of cups Two of Cups, this keeps following us. <laughs> and it makes sense because we talked about relationships at work in 2024 that will be really important. Now, it could also talk about your clients, um, the tribe that you are building or you are gathering. Okay, let's look at the Steampunk Tarot. Oof, too many. Well, one of them flew right past the rest and it's very applicable. We have Work Occupation. Let's see what is the highlight of 2024. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of, as you can see, people involved here. Official is your advice. Now, 2024 is a really good time for you to review the contracts that you have signed. And if that contract doesn't satisfy you anymore, it's um, it's shown here that you're going to be looking for other options and opportunities. So these would be work contracts or collaborations. Seven of Cups for the work aspect of, of the reading tells you that there are plenty of options and choices for you all you're gonna have to do is to open your eyes to them and make the choice based on what you need and a lot of you will be making choices based on your heart I feel like that job is right for me or I feel like I should be in this working with this team and uh, I feel like a lot of you will be right here 
because what you're gonna be looking for in 2024 instead of working your ass off working like a horse in a kind of dry job what your soul is seeking for and what you are seeking for is a job that makes you feel good so for a lot of you this is the environment that you will be in what kind of people do i have surrounding me how much fun can we have because before some of you you worked your ass off and your body was telling you hey we need a change <clears throat> or maybe that job is not applicable to you anymore it's, it doesn't suit you doesn't suit your energy and you have to realize that in 2024 and make changes I'm also seeing someone working with a family member on some sort of project here I'm seeing a green light now would it be a father or someone who has this kind of fatherly traits about them even if they are not your father you will want to collaborate with them you will want to work with them this person makes you feel safe and secure this is someone who has a very grounded energy again in your work life you are meeting a person or a couple of people who you're going to bond with very very closely these people will turn from your colleagues to your friends and I feel like overall theme for you work-wise here is how can I be surrounded even if the job itself is difficult but if I have a good team supportive team around me I can make it work and I can have a lot of fun once we do leave our desks so bonding time and teamwork socializing together after work is important so that you're building stronger work relationships so when you are met with any issue or problem at work all of you step up your game and help one another so strengthening those partnerships is a theme here for you but overall in 2024 know that you do have a lot of options work-wise don't close yourself in a box and think that I can only be this way or I can only work in this uh, particular job or this field. Um, the way that your 24 will go work-wise all depends on your perspective and how open you are to opportunities. So make the best out of it. I hope this made sense, plan number one. Thank you for passing by. If you need more content, find me on Patreon. I will catch you in the next one. Hello group number two, let's see what is up with you. First, we're gonna look at the spiritual aspects of 2024. Then we're gonna look at your relationships and we'll look at your work and finances. Let's see what is up with you in 2024, spiritually. Power has chosen the second Sabian symbol. If you want to get your Sabian symbols, go to the description box. All the information is there. It's pretty awesome, okay. Mm -hmm. we're also going to be using the healing and clarity cards to see what you are met with what are you met with and also what you are letting go of nice alignment is here what are you letting go of? Both are the heart chakra cards, so that's interesting to see. What you're letting go, uh, go of is the past in 2024. So any past heartaches, okay? You're not clinging to them. You're not um, blaming the self or the other for what has happened. You understand that that was part of your, part of your journey in a way and you're finding resolution. You're letting yourself um, be the one to heal the wounds passed down from your ancestors. Some of you may have done ancestry work in 23 and it shows in 2024. The release and growth begins with you. Great. What, what we are met with. True statement. I am aligned. Okay, nice. Reviving. This card goes really well with realization card. Uh, you may even feel like a phoenix coming up from the ashes it feels like there's gonna be spiritual rebuff here 
and you're very strong spiritually with the chariot card and king of pentacles what you mean notice in 24 that you have a very grounded spiritual practice or belief system that um, in return uh, provides you you something material i don't know i don't know how that's gonna happen but i'm being shown the stronger the more grounded your energy is in 2024 the more you are getting material wise so it's almost as if this is a direct feedback go within and allow everything that is not resonant to be purged so you can come from your heart your seat of power and i feel like you're sitting in a power in 2024 you are very you're very certain of what you're doing or where you're going is exactly where you have to be you're not questioning yourself is this the right path or is this the right route to take or is it the wrong one you know that where you are is exactly where you need to be and you need to experience the things that are right in front of you you may feel that you are much more in present moment in 24 than you were in 2023 if that's not the case at the beginning of the year you're looking for techniques for ways or routines in order to feel that way and you know that the more in balance you are the more achievable everything becomes and you can attract much more energy and opportunities your way this is a really great year for you to do any kind of purging okay having a great spiritual hygiene will be important because maybe some of you have picked up energies in, in 23 that were not your own and you carried those throughout the whole year and you felt heavy spiritually I would say what would be beneficial for you pile number two is in 2024 or just before 24 happens having a good cleansing ritual now for all of you it's going to be different come up with yours I would say do not look for specific ingredients what other person uses in their spiritual cleansing practice use what feels right to you for your soul and for your heart what I do, I pick herbs that I've burned then that feel right to me at that time. After the ritual is, is done, I then look up their spiritual properties. And a lot of times it's exactly what kind of herb I needed for that specific intention. So experiment, look at what you need. I'm also seeing someone having a tea ceremony and um, that may become a tradition for you in 2024 and it could be as simple as for example if someone woke up and they drank coffee in the morning they may want to switch it for the tea that is best for them and they'll notice how much more grounded their day starts they might decide to have the coffee in the afternoon which would be the best I don't remember <clears throat> who was the doctor that I listened to and you can do your own research on this coffee doesn't do anything if we drink it too early in the morning it's best to drink it in the afternoon a lot of times you hear people um, go I, I just had a coffee and my my hands are trembling um, it doesn't do anything good for you it can't kind of ungrounds you in a way so I would say look at that if that's something that you're experiencing have a tea in the morning or have a nice glass of water with lemon in it maybe some mint start a relationship with your body in the early morning uh, slowly wake your body up slowly that's gonna the physical aspect how you're going to treat your body in the early mornings pile number whatever the early morning is for you pile number two is gonna show up as Wait, I'm being interrupted. I'm being shown someone's stomach. Um, when you will be doing this cleansing ritual for yourself, focus on the stomach. See how it feels there. Are there any undigested memories, emotions, or energy that you have swallowed from your surroundings that you don't need? You may want to place your hands on the stomach, 
Close your eyes and visualize as if a healing light goes down through your hands to your stomach and cleanses everything that needs to be cleansed there. So pile number two, big on spiritual practices. In 2024, it would be beneficial to find the one that suits best to you. But what we need to know for 24, we need to avoid carrying the energy, leftover energy, other people's energy throughout the weeks. So you have to somehow integrate that spiritual hygiene weekly, monthly, however often it feels right to you. Now let's continue. Let's look at your relationships in 2024. What is the main theme? What is the main theme? Oh, you have realization here again. Ace of Cups, nice. Page of Cups. Okay, what are we letting go of? What are we leaving behind? Justice, Moon. Nine of Cups. And what are we inviting? Eight of Cups. Ace of Swords and the King of Swords. Bottom of the deck, we have another Ace, Ace of Wands, which is Ace of Fire. All right, man, 2024 for you, pile number two, will be the time of changes in your relationships. Uh, for a lot of you, you will decide to choose a new partner. If we're talking about rom romance here, even for friendships I'm seeing, I'm seeing people going into separation modes um, because it's something is not happening. It's not, um, that relationship on a soul level is not either resonant or what you both want are different things or someone is noticing that they need much more than what they are giving, given and therefore they go, okay, this situation is not fair. I feel like my dreams uh, and my goals are not met in this situation. Maybe some of you were in 2023, uh, were very, um, I'm gonna say delusional about one particular relationship. Maybe seeking for someone in particular or an, this idea about a specific relationship that they, you got blinded and you are not living in reality anymore. In 24, it's all about looking at the receipts. Is this person giving me enough attention? Am I giving them enough attention? Are we in good balance together? Do we seek for similar things? Do we both want a solid relationship? It's a really good year since we have three aces here on a table, one at the bottom of a deck. Um, it's a really good year meeting new people, pile number two communication you have you have picked the sabian symbol where there is a letter and i'm seeing a lot of communication here with people new people old people it feels like you are being really selective in your relationships in 24 what you want to do is to have fun with the page of cups have fun with your partnerships have fun with your friendships have fun in relationship if you're not getting that if everything feels very heavy throughout extended period of time, you are going to decide to cut it off, literally. Um, for a lot of you, I'd say more than 50% of you watching here, you're deciding to cut off a relationship in 2024, or maybe you just did that at the end of 23. And it, in some way, it frees you. It also gives you quite a lot, of, a lot of wisdom, and you go, you know what? It doesn't have to be so hard. Um, it should be much lighter than what it was. Or I'm not seeing that this, this person brings light into my world. Maybe this person brings in quite a lot of heaviness and burden. And I don't feel like it's fair because I'm trying to do the opposite. And I feel like we're just both coming from two very different places. Let me not push it. In 24, you're not pushing relationships. You're open for new connections work-wise romantic wise or platonic wise okay and you're being encouraged to do so 
Overall, if I had to sum this up, plenty of fish in the sea, pile number two. You don't have to settle for something that doesn't mm, satisfy you or some of you, you will know. If you are in a relationship with someone, there is this kind of like knot in your stomach, even if you don't know why, you're going to listen to your gut. You're going to be like, okay, this is not right. I can't carry this with me in this relationship. It shouldn't feel this way. I don't know, for some of you, it could have been some sort of drama that you have encountered or you will be encountering in 24. But if it's in 24, then it's going to be the beginning half of the year um, where you're going to have to let someone go. And by doing that, you're going to gain a lot of self-confidence because you'll go, okay, that was the right thing to do. I am proud of myself. Let's see what else. What else is important to know of in 2024? In relationships. Pay attention uh, to who makes you feel anxious, heavy, or when you met someone you became sick more frequently, more often, because that's going to be a sign that maybe you want to take a break from this connection. Same would be in work relationships, right? You got hired for a job and you feel like you are sick more frequently than ever before in your life and this might be already the sign for you that maybe you're not in the right environment. Some of you will have um, legal dealings in 2024 and um, let me see what are these dealings about? Formalities, documents, what are these dealings about? Some of you may be getting a divorce here. If that that's not that shouldn't be news to you if this is your case because um, you already know that this is not the person you're gonna want to be with and it's time to end this situation. Uh, for others of you, it feels like someone in your circle may let you know that they are separating or they are divorcing. If that's the case, this is someone who's really close to you and um, that's why they're showing up in your cards because of this close connection. And good, because look look at the sequence of these cards. Rest or illness, someone feeling really heavy. At the back of their head, there's always kind of this gloom and doubt. I'm not sure about this partnership. This could be a work relationship, by the way. This partnership doesn't have to be romantic. They go, oh, this is heavy. I am young, but I feel old, right? This is dragging me down for a long time. What about, even if it's a sad situation, I'm going to cut this contract. I'm going to let it go, I mean, come on, bottom of the deck because it's causing me a lot of stress and fears and I have become kind of like some of you jumpy even and I don't want to think about it anymore. Let me seek for new partnerships, partnerships that are more similar to me or partnerships that are much more valuable to me. I'm not pushing something that is not sustainable, I'm not pushing something that is not real um, to make it real in 2024 relationship wise what I'm looking for is the success in love or success in collaboration success in work and I'm very cautious and I'm very sure very clear-headed about what is not for me and that's okay Remember, with the Ace of Cups and the Page of Cups, uh, in 24, you're going to be hit with this realization very strongly that, hey, life is short. Let me put myself in situations with people where I am happy. I cannot waste my happiness away. And that's a theme in relationships or in partnerships in 2024. Let's get these cards back into the deck. And let's look at your finances and career. What about your finances and career in 2024? Let 
justice. Three of Cups, Knight of Swords. Let's look at your finances. Not too many. Seven of Swords, Two of Pentacles. Magician. Why the Seven of Swords? Let me clarify it. Three of Pentacles. What are you inviting? The Sun. The Eight of Cups. And the Page of Wands. Okay, very interesting. <laughs> Number two. Let's start with the heads up. In 2024, what to watch out for is people taking advantage of you in workplaces. We are not allowing this to happen. Seven of Swords, deception energy in partnerships or in collaborations. Make sure that you are clear about your contract. Make sure that you do the work that's, that is included in your contract and that you're not taken advantage of. There might be a person in a workplace who is a bit like uh, Kaka energy, who wants to either take something from you or who wants to in some way deceive you and you're going to see through that and you're going to take action towards change. For a lot of you, again, uh, what I'm seeing for you, overall, a lot, a lot of changes in, in 2024. You're going to want to walk away for your own happiness and I really feel like pile number two it's going to be a drastic change that's happening in 24 in your work because i'm literally seeing someone going from the office job to you know what i feel like i want to sell everything that i have and i want to travel it, that kind of drastic changes or you know what let me start focusing on this uh, project that project that i'm working on i'm gonna go part-time in my job so i can still pay my bills and i have this um, continuous income and I feel safe but the rest of the hours I'm gonna put into a project or into my own business or into achieving what I want so don't be surprised even if someone in your environment someone who you're very close with they go you know what I just quit that job and you go what you've been in that job for so long or you were planning so many things that you wanted to achieve in that job and they go you know what my soul is, is not there anymore. Like I feel like I'm disconnected, maybe I dissociate, maybe I feel like I'm not living my life. I wanna pack my bags, travel for a month or two. I may want to work remotely, sign up for a company, maybe that's not, um, that doesn't give me as much money or I'm not uh, qualified for that job, but it's easy to get it. And let me just be happy. It's a, an energy of someone who would want to live in a van and travel the world and uh, make money however they can just to live their life. That's what kind of energy I'm getting for pile number two. Someone who just wants to experience life and someone who, whose kind of view on money has shifted. Or someone who, for example, believe that they're supposed to have this kind of life, but the society keep telling them, but you have to have this job or you have to, you know, you have to graduate, you have to go to college or university, then you have to get a job and work in that job for the rest of your life, in that field for the rest of your life. But maybe some of you go, I don't know, it doesn't feel right to me. There is something else that I can be great at or I can do for myself. And I feel like I want to explore. In 2024, work-wise, you want to explore. And for a lot of you, there will be trips involved. Even if, even if you don't quit that job, um, you may travel quite a lot with your work. Or you may sign up for a company or work with a company that um, works with international clients or is very widely known because I'm seeing a web of connections. And that's going to be the route that you may want to take. Some of you, you're going to be looking for a job that doesn't tie you to a location because your soul is screaming, I want freedom in 24 when it comes to work. I want to move fast. I want to have fun. I want to work my ass off as well. 
but I want it in a particular way. So for example, if you had an office job, you may want to work remotely from wherever you can. You may want to literally travel and work at the same time so you see the world and you are happy. Your inner child wants to explore here. There's, uh, for a lot of you, there is a good chance that you're gonna work in a job that you are not familiar with. Because the page shows me an intern. Someone who needs to get to know the company or area of work and they're gonna take that initial, initial time to get used to that environment that they haven't maybe even been in before. But it seems like this is making you happy. So that's good. What else work-wise do we need to know about? Yeah, you, all you want to do is to kind of be in love, feel love by life, by work, and just kind of like, I'm getting this kind of Rasta vibe, I don't know why. Now again, Seven of Swords is here and Theft is here. Make sure people do not use you in 2024. And maybe that's something that you have witnessed before where you tend to have such a big heart or be a little bit naive sometimes and people do take advantage of you and they cause you quite a lot of stress and turmoil. In 2024 also, look for your material thing. Look after your material things, especially if you're carrying something that is very valuable. I would say don't carry shitloads of money with you in the wallet um, because there is a good chance of someone either getting robbed or someone losing something of value. So I like when it shows up in the cards like that so we can avoid it and change the outcome. Okay? Anything else? Yeah, I'm seeing some people going back to studying or again, as I said, learning about a job that they're not familiar with. Mm-hmm. Random, I know we're talking about work, but for some of you, you're gonna have to take some time off from work in order to enjoy your family because someone is having a child. And that child doesn't maybe necessarily have to be an actual kid. It could be um, giving birth to a project of some sort. So again, right? Let me maybe um, after work focus on this project of mine that's going to turn into my business one day or let me build a business on the side because that's what I want your soul is screaming for freedom in 2024 work-wise and wherever you feel like you are in prison you're gonna want to leave that place I hope this made sense thank you for being here if you need more content find me on patreon and I'll catch you all in the next one bye for now Hello, hello, pile number three, whoever has chosen the third Sabian symbol. Let's look at what we have for you here today for 24. Now, if you want to have your own Sabian symbol chart, you can go to the description box and I have all the links that you may need. It's also on promotion right now, so I feel like it's a pretty good deal. Let's go. Let's look at the spiritual aspects of 2024. What are we going through, pile number three? I'm using the Gold Leaf Tarot, Knight of Cups. Oh, wow. Sweet. Ace of Cups in the Chariot. You are thriving spiritual in 23. You are thriving. Okay, let's pull from one more deck. I'm using the, by the way, healing and clarity cards. Okay, what you're walking towards to is I am moving, which is very applicable with the chariot card. The time for planning is complete. Take action, no matter how small, begin today. What are we leaving behind? Both heart chakra cards, by the way. We're leaving behind the trigger statement, I can't get anything right. Harness your loving energy and watch as one miracle unfolds after another. Now, straight away what I want to talk about, by the way, some of you need to hydrate more. So, cheers to you. I'm going to have a sip of water. 
do the same with me if you can first thing first in 2023 or the energy that you're leaving behind is lack of self-confidence or sometimes maybe some of you are minimizing yourself particularly in spiritual practices and i really feel like pile number three have spiritual practices you may even be a professional a tarot reader a healer anyone who works with energies and some of you have been a little bit um lacking the self-confidence in that craft in 24 we are not in that space anymore in 24 you are very by the way in tune with your intuition your higher self and you trust it completely the downloads that you get in signs that you get in information that you get in about people even if this is not your job just for yourself having this inner gps and trusting it it's navigating you towards your goals and dreams so you're very connected here you're very intuitive some of you will want to do something with that intuition you will want to use it for your work you may even create a business a spiritual business of some sorts for yourself and you want to be thriving pile number three you are spiritually thriving i'm seeing anything that was I'm seeing kind of like a mud uh, at the bottom of a glass so there is a glass full of water and there is mud at the at the end of it last year so in 2023 you have taken a time or you will be taking this time at the beginning of 24 to clean that mud so this is um i call it energetic leftovers something that wasn't yours something that you picked up from environment something that maybe you have created yourself and it was acting like your own enemy so how can we create this um energy that works against us or works like a block acts like a block is when we think of something that is heavy or negative uh over over and over and over again so it's not it's not only about you know a period of time that's difficult this is a belief system or thought that keeps coming back year after year and you will want to cleanse it you will want to get rid of that you will look for ways how you can clean that mud and you're coming into 2024 super freaking light and i love this for you there's a lot of love that you loving energy that you want to extend onto others and it's going to reflect back at you now let's talk about your relationships platonic romantic business what is important in 2024 king of pentacles more earth energy ace of pentacles two of swords mm. okay what are we leaving behind four of swords five of cups page of swords what are we inviting the world Four of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. Let me clarify the Four of Cups. What are we inviting? Eight of Swords. Mm -hmm. And let me clarify some things here with the Keeper deck. Behind gloom and doubt. Okay, what are we inviting? Partnership and little child. Wow. Anything else? Stress. Okay. Let's look. Pile number three. Relationship-wise, in 2024, um, you're going to be. Um, 
feels like a little bit confused and uh, it's because some of you tend to overthink simple basic situations please avoid that in 24 it's going to steal your happiness we don't need that okay <laughs> what you're leaving behind is I don't know if this is a person that you dealt with or you will be dealing with or you tend to be this way someone who doesn't know how to communicate or someone with whom you cannot find mutual ground when it comes to communication you can't get to compromise and this was a situation that caused quite a lot of maybe sleepless nights for you you were getting really kind of heavy difficult dreams and that was your subconscious telling you pay attention to that what you're leaving behind is lack of quality communication and um, for some of you in work in work sense in platonic relationship business relationship you yourself uh, you are learning how to be, be a better communicator would it be in your meetings would it be you picking up a book uh, about how to be a best I'm seeing someone on a stage how can I be best at speaking in my field or if I know that I have self-confident self-confidence issues when talking in front of people let me go to the root of the issue and let me fix that so some of you are doing it through therapy through hypnosis whichever way you find suitable how can I find um, better common ground with my partner how can I portray my thoughts in a clear manner that is a theme you want to become as good as communication as possible and you want the same or similar people surrounding you in 2024 I am seeing someone possibly being proposed to or invited to live together with a person if we're talking about romantic or even platonic platonic relationship you may live with a friend or live um, close to a friend or someone who you consider a good friend could be also a parent because I'm seeing a possibility for pile number three to move closer to someone that you care about someone who feels family now coming back to proposals I'm seeing that there is an opportunity for someone to get married or to get pregnant heavily on that um, pile number three but some of you are stressing it up here and I don't know why look stress and fear little child and partnership other cards are the four of cups and the eight of swords someone is very confused so if you are not certain if you want to have a child with that person use protection you know what you gotta do so that you don't put yourself in situation that it's it's um, it's very stressful because with the four of cups I'm saying that someone is like I'm not sure if I want that or I'm not sure if I want to be in this partnership all I'm thinking about is freedom or I want to be self-sustainable mm, I need to take actions towards what I want but maybe meanwhile if we are not if we are not um, careful we can create a situation that is not what we want so be cautious now I like when tarot shows that so that we have heads up and we can change the outcome of a situation by taking action applicable action for it not to happen or if you want that but you're still stressing for it to happen it's very normal to stress um, <laughs> about pregnancy right or about um, getting married there is a lot that gets uh, involved there planning finances all of that jazz but if you are stressing about that make sure that it doesn't steal the joy the joyful memories that you're supposed to be building at that time if you are stressed 
let someone know who you consider a family member, someone who is very grounded, someone who is experienced, someone who is like a mother or father image to you, figure to you. This would be the best person to go to advice to, for advice to. Now, it's all about family, pile number three for you. It's all about creating a nest, building a nest in 2023, four, sorry. Maybe some of you started in 23, I'm not sure. Could be. But I'm seeing this world card, card as a nest. I am preparing this nest for myself. Uh, some of you intuitively have been getting that in 24. You may be in a very serious partnership if you are not just yet. If you are in a partnership already, you are getting engaged or you're getting married or you're having a child. In some way, this partnership is upgrading and evolving. But be sure to talk to your partner about some of the fears that might be coming up. Remember, it's all about being a good communicator in 2024. If you're going to suck at communication, you're going to suffer inwardly and no one's going to know about it. So let's be a bit more vulnerable in 24 because that's going to allow you to avoid any unnecessary pain or heaviness in your chest. Okay, let's talk about work now. Work and finances. Work and finances. What do we need to know in 2024? What are we experiencing? The Fool, the Two of Cups, the Five of Cups, what are we leaving behind, the Star, the Ten of Cups, the Eight of Cups, what are we inviting, Nine of Pentacles, Moon, Sorry guys, as I was shuffling, I didn't notice the phone storage was full. Okay, let's come back to it. Um, the full, five of cups and two of cups. Work-wise, it feels like some of you will make some choices that may on the way upset some other people. Now, and I feel like it doesn't feel like it's a bad thing because what you're seeking for work-wise is independence. You want to have your own money. You want to work at your own business. You want to create something that's going to bring in quite a lot of finances in the future. You may be very heavy into investments or looking at ways how you can make money while sleeping. 2024 is a time when you're kind of breaking free from any financial restraints. And it is going to be a bit of work here, which I'm seeing, but um, you're much more excited about it than you are complaining about it. You may be even looking for... Some of you will buy a book or a couple of books that talk about successful people's routines. What is the habit that I need to have in order to be successful financially or in order to be financially free? And um, you're just breaking free here, pile number three. <laughs> it even rhymed. You have this globe in your hands and you go, okay, how do I want my life to look like? You may be redrawing a picture of your life in 2024 when it comes to your work and finances. There is a dream or a goal that you had before that's gonna be put on hold for some sort of reason because you're gonna have to explore other venues and you know that you can come back to it but there is something else that's gonna take over your brain i feel like you don't know what it is just yet for many of you this is something completely new even if you have a business already there might be you're branching out you may be adding something to your business. For example, if you have a shop and you sell candles, you may be selling body lotions as well. Just an example, right? Um, I just want to say a bit of heads up. Uh, whilst seeking for this independent way of living, um, you may upset a couple of people on the way. 
And uh, but remember, no one can live your life. Only you can live your life. So it's going to be seems like your decision to go for what you want. You will be changing quite a lot as a person because it seems like you're becoming very responsible and very serious about your financial goals. And some people who go into be doing the same things over and over again that don't allow them to be financially free or to be financially set, they might be a little bit either jealous or they might feel uncomfortable around you where maybe before you said okay let's go to starbucks they go they say let's go to starbucks you go yeah sure let's go where now you go mm, actually i'm gonna grab some coffee from home because you're very money conscious because you have a bigger goal at the end of this right and they go but that's not the same then if i'm gonna grab starbucks and you're gonna have yours it's kind of ruining the whole vibe but you go you know what i have this plan in place where i'm really conscious of the relationship I have with money. I can have my own made coffee from home and it's actually banging. <laughs> I don't need to buy a coffee from Starbucks that costs a lot of money. And maybe you're saving that money, you're putting it somewhere on a side for a bigger goal, a bigger wish or a dream that you have. A lot of you will be receiving quite a lot of signs in your dream state about your finances. Now, if someone was uh, dependent on an individual financially in 24, is the time to break free. Is to do whatever you can in order for you to be more self-sustainable. And some of you will have to really sit down with yourself and write down very honestly, what are the shadow parts that are keeping me in this space? Or what are the shadow parts of me that are dragging me backwards when it comes to my finances? What am I doing wrong or what am I not doing in order to have this solid ground for myself? Overall, for part three, if you don't have a business, it's a really good year, 24, to start working on your business. Write a business plan, create a website, however you're going to want to approach this. Mm -hmm. Let's see what else. also seeing someone needing to go to travel with work and they may have to leave their family or their loved ones uh, wherever they are as if someone is saying i have to leave for like a year or half a year i will be traveling back and forth i will come back but there is a there is this um goal that i need to go for it's gonna be good for me as well as for everyone else involved yeah what did i say so abundance is big for pile number three. You're very focused. Please do not allow anyone to distract you because you have your eyes on the prize and 24, you can get that prize. And it seems like you're using that money for something important for you in the future. It's, it's not just, I just want more money. It's not that type of energy. I need that money for something important. And you see you're grinding here. This work occupation card is, is someone who's grinding at their job or grinding um, in order to get more finances, reading the books, uh, looking at their habits, incorporating better habits, replacing the old ones with the better ones. It's that type of energy. And it's completely up to you. So we talked about travel with work. Um, it's a theme here. And it's completely up to you how much energy you're going to put into this because for a lot of you this is very achievable to be financially free to be financially set for the years to come uh, but some of you will decide to come back to the old bad habits that don't help you get there mm, but you're gonna pick up again i feel like it's um it's gonna have to look for the breakthrough i do this for x amount of time I apply this habit and then maybe I stumble and but I come back to it because that's what I want to do and one day those habits will be with you forever. Um, so it's important for you to last for at least a couple of months and incorporate it as a part of your routine. Okay, I hope this made sense pile number three. If you need more content find me on Patreon and I will catch you in the next one. Bye for now.